All right guys, check it out. I have been out of the shop for two weeks. It's been a long time, but I'm back in the shop and we got a care package in from Gamma. Now I think you guys already know what this is. Obviously, if you saw the thumbnail, you already know what it is. I believe it's gonna be the new Instincts. We're gonna open it up in this video and check out what is inside, what all comes in the box, what they look like. I'm gonna do another follow-up video here soon, testing them out on a couple heads later on this week. But since I haven't been in the shop, I have not been able to record with it yet. Obviously, that's why we're here today. So anyway, let's open this box up and see what these Instincts are all about. All right guys, so we got the Instinct Clipper and the Instinct Trimmer. Instinct Trimmer, that's kind of hard to say. All right guys, so there they are. You guys can see the StyleCraft Pro Instinct. We'll check them out one by one. We're gonna start with the Clipper. So let's get this trimmer out of the way and we'll get going. Professional Vector Motor Clipper with Intuitive Torque Control. So guys, I'm not really sure what the Vector Motor is. I have heard that that is what is in this Clipper. Not really sure the difference, but obviously guys, we're gonna check it out. Maybe it'll say some more about it on the box. If you guys look on the bottom, it has the Gold Titanium Vapor Blade. So that's a plus, you guys already know. No, I like the Faber blade or the fusion blade if you guys didn't know that is the Faber blade high power vector motor adjustable zero gap blade four hour runtime double magnetic guards 11,500 rpms that's higher than any other clipper I've ever seen guys I would guess the vector motor is gonna push a little bit more rpms so these things might be kind of crazy customizable click or freestyle lever so you guys know I like to run the stretch bracket without the clicks so we can take that off take the clicks out and have just a free floating lever modular capabilities custom body kit so just like most of the gamma stuff Stuff, guys we have the custom body kits that you guys can swap out so you guys can see the black version on this end we got the red on this end that's pretty much it on the outside now we'll go ahead and look at the back probably most of this we already read but we'll go ahead and go through it it has the premium hypoallergenic gold titanium fixed favorite blade so we did talk about that guys you know the favorite blade is my favorite but I have yet to see a gold one customizable click or floating taper options four hours of runtime yeah we already said all this stuff guys extreme power with an ergonomically designed compact body and of course eight double magnetics it does come with the white double magnetic guards, screwdriver, and the maintenance and cleaning kit. So anyway guys, that is pretty much it on the box. Let's go ahead and open these things up and get them out of here. All right guys, so there they are. Kind of a different looking charging base. You guys can see it's got the gold ring around it that matches basically what the clipper looks like. We got two different lids here. The blue and the black are off the clipper. And here's the clipper. Go ahead and take this out of the box. And of course guys, here's the stretch bracket, a couple levers the white double magnetic guards, the charging cord. It also comes with, oh, stuck in the screwdriver, a micro USB cord to charge it as well. Pretty much all that, guys, we've already seen. Let's go ahead and pop this clipper out of here and check it out. All right, guys, there is the Instinct. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is very small. You see it is actually smaller than my hand, so definitely a lot smaller. That makes me wonder how small the trimmer is about to be. But you guys can see through it, you can see the motor inside. Go ahead and take the blade cover off, and here is the gold vapor blade. So you guys cannot even tell how small this thing is, but it is tiny. Let me get something else, and we'll compare it. All right, guys, so my drawers were locked up, but I grabbed JT's Rebel, and you guys can see it is almost probably about a half inch shorter than the Rebel. This is absolutely the smallest clipper that I've ever held. It doesn't look as broad here as I thought. It does actually kind of look kind of nice. I really wasn't digging it when I first saw it online, but it's not as bad as I thought in person. All right, so you guys can see kind of a cool cover here. We can see through at the black on the front with the red Instinct letters, gold buttons, and accessories. USB charger in the back, and obviously this is what connects to the dock. But there it is, guys, not too shabby. The StyleCraft Instinct little mini clipper. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to check out. It's supposed to be super powerful, packed in this little body. All right, guys, so here is the Instinct. You see StyleCraft Pro Instinct, same thing, red, black, and blue. Professional vector motor trimmer with intuitive torque control. So same thing, most of the same stuff, I'm sure, guys, but black diamond DLC blade, high power vector motor, adjustable zero gap blade, four hour runtime, skeleton design, 9,500 RPM. So that's pretty high for a trimmer. I don't know if I've seen any trimmers up in that area, but that's pretty high for a trimmer. These things might be kind of crazy. It comes with a zero gap setter. You guys may have seen that on the Sabre trimmer. It's basically the blade cover, but it also doubles as a a zero gapping tool. And also guys, obviously modular capabilities, different custom body kits. So pretty much that's it guys. I'm not gonna read the back because we already found out that the back says the same thing as this panel right here. Go ahead and open this thing up. You guys can see here's the blue example on top. We got the red trimmer right here. Comes with a black and a blue cover. I'm not even gonna take the bottom out, guys. We know that it's gonna have the standard stuff, guys, the charging cord. No guards with this, but the cleaning kit, probably a screwdriver, instruction manual, all of that. But let's go ahead and get this trimmer out and check it out. All right guys, so there it is, the vector trimmer. So you guys can see the zero gap tool. You can just slide it to the side one way or another. There we go. There's the black X-Pro blade, you guys can see. Wish it had the one blade on it, we may have to swap that 
Oh, I wish I had the one blade on it. We may have to swap that out, but you guys can see pretty small little trimmer here. Let's compare it to the clipper and see what the size is looking like. All right, guys, so almost the same size if we butt them up next to each other, almost exactly the same as a clipper. So that is absolutely the first time I've seen anything like that. You guys know on a lot of our clippers, like the Gold FX versus the Skeleton, it's almost twice the size. So kind of different having the same size clipper and trimmer, but these things are cool. A little bit different feeling being so small, but we're definitely gonna check them out. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do first, guys, is we're gonna throw the black lids on. So let's go ahead and get this box out of the way. I'll show you guys how to install these lids. All right guys, so we have the black lids here. You can see here's our clipper and trimmer. We're gonna go ahead and swap it out. You guys know I like everything all black. So I'm gonna imagine it's just these four screws right here. Hopefully we don't have to take the blades off, but we will find out here in a second. All right guys, I have my power screwdriver. Got a lot of questions about this last time. If you guys wanna check it out, head to the description on my Amazon page and you guys can check it out. But you guys see this will power screwdriver. So we can just take the screws out nice and easy. Just push the button on the reverse and you see the screws come out. Take all four of these out and the lid should pop off. Boom, so there we go. There is the red lid. We'll go ahead and take the black trimmer lid and throw it on the front. And obviously guys, we'll just use the opposite. We will push the forward button and snug these screws back down and we'll be good to go. All right, there's the all black instinct trimmer. Definitely a lot better, guys. I wasn't sure when I saw it, I knew it was red. I was hoping that the back was not red. Obviously it is black, guys, so you can swap the black. And we got the all black trimmer. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on this dock. I hope it fits, it does not fit. I'm gonna have to hook these docks up. Now let's go ahead and do it to the clipper, guys. Same thing, four screws on the back, and we'll throw the black cover on. Now just a slight pull and the lid should come off. There you go. One of the screws fell out, but that's no big deal. Now we'll just take this. Now we'll just take the black lid, pop it on the front. It's pretty easy, guys. It can only go one way. There goes another screw. Go ahead and snug these back down and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, so there's the set all blacked out. I kind of wish this was black and black. I guess, I think it did come with a black lever. We will have the gold blade, but maybe I could swap out a fusion blade off of one of my other clippers and throw it on here and have it actually all murdered out, except for the Stylecraft logo. So, but you guys can see these things look pretty sweet. All blacked out. Now guys, I do have to tell you, when I first saw these things, I absolutely hated them. This to me reminds me of like a old school scuba diving costume, not a costume, whatever you call it, a suit with a big round helmet with a big metal faceplate on the front or like a submarine with the big windows with the screws around it. I just didn't care for it at all, to be honest. It looked way thicker at the top and skinnier at the bottom when I first saw it. But guys, actually in the hand, these are not near as bad as I imagined when I first saw the picture. Definitely better with the all blacked out lids on. Now guys, like I said, it's still the weekend and I'm not gonna have any clients for a couple days. So I am gonna test these out in a follow-up video so you guys stay tuned for that. And if you want more info on them, make sure you're subscribed so you guys can check that out when it drops. Now if you guys do wanna grab these without seeing the haircut, they did say these are super limited. So if you wanna grab them before they sell out, head to stylecraftus.com and you guys can save 10% using my code SeanCutsHair. I would imagine that they're around 200 bucks, maybe a little bit less. Definitely the clipper is probably closer to 200 and the trimmer might be like 180 or 170, 160, something like that. You guys can save 10%, and if you want to get the set, you guys will save 30, 40 bucks. And like I said, guys, stay tuned for the haircut coming soon. I'm going to get at it as soon as I get in the shop and test these things out. If you guys liked it so far, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up. I'm super stoked to be back in the shop, guys. I've been off for two weeks. Learned a lot of Joshua Peace class. I'm going to come back and make some dope content for you guys. I also bought some mannequins, so if you guys want to see me record cutting and practicing on the mannequins, just let me know, and I can do that. As always, I appreciate all of you watching my channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.